Yeah, am I audible? My dear friends. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Now, today I will explain what is identifiers. Identifiers. Now, to identify me, I have a name. To identify you, you have a name. To identify our computer institute name, it, it will also have a name. So what is the identifier? Identifier is nothing but a name allocated to variable or method or function or user defined reference. That's it. The names, the names are nothing but identifiers. The names allocated to variable or method or function. Actually, method or function, both are same. And user-defined reference. User-defined reference. Means in your program, if you define a name, that is known as user-defined reference. In previous example, I defined a pi. Pi is a name defined by me. That is known as user-defined reference. So the names allocated to these are called as identifier. Are called as identifiers. I will explain some example. I am going to create a integer number, integer variable. Variable name is number. Now integer is the data type. Number is the variable name. So name is nothing but identifier. Here number is a name or identifier of a variable. Here number is a variable. I am going to explain one more example. Example 2. Wide mean or int main. Here, main is the function name or method name. So here, main is name or identifier of a function or a method or a method. Example 3. T-O-N-S-T, constant float phi equal to 3.14. Here phi is a identifier. Here phi is a name or identifier of a constant. A constant. So the names allocated to variables, the names allocated to functions, or the names allocated to constants, those are nothing but identifiers. Right? Write on this, note on this one. After completion of writing, please tell me.
completed good good now the next one is what is keyboard see here here you can see some names number main and pi these are the names defined by me but some names are already defined within the system those are nothing but uh, predefined names or predefined identifiers those are called as keywords keywords are nothing but predefined names what is the keyword it is a predefined identifier so it is a reserved word reserved word now what is the difference between normal name and the keyboard i will give one example in nurse of in hyderabad i am going to uh, establish a company software company i am going to name it as surya technologies now nothing will be problem to name my company as surya technologies can i name my company as google can i name my company as microsoft is it possible no no why is reserved already yes it that name was taken by patent microsoft company take patent rights on that name google company take patent rights on that name so those are the reserved words those are the reserved names is it okay what is the meaning of reserved word now so we can not keyword we cannot change the meaning of keyword we cannot change the meaning of keyword if you try to change then you will get error if you try to change the meaning of keyword then we will get error then we will get error right in c language there are 32 keywords c provides how many keywords are there 32 keywords are there. 32 keywords example of some keywords integer character float double void if long short signed unsigned if else which case break while for do while continue go to return auto static register extern null and so on that two keywords are there okay right now note on this topic keywords and the keywords on the data types also included some of them data types also one of the keyword okay. modifier also one of the keyword right yes sir good
So can we have small C program and can we identify that identify as constant keyword data types? Already I explained data types from int care float double. Those four are data types. In one program only all. All we cannot use in one program. Okay. In throughout the C programming language, you can learn all these keywords uh, within 45 days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In one, pro one program, we cannot use all these keywords. Not keywords, actually, variable key identifiers. I, I, will I will explain. I will explain you. Why? Because to differentiate the meaning of all yes, yes. to first of all, we have to we have to complete the theory part. Then okay. we can write programs, right? Okay. To write a programs, you need you need to understand how to create a variable, how to read the data, how to print the data. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today I will explain input and output of functions. After that, you can write the programs. Okay. Okay. So could you please uh, scroll up, sir? Okay. I didn't uh, attend this class. For uh, see, this, from, uh, from, this, from this one, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. It, it is the starting, sir. Yes, ma'am. Identifiers. Yes, yes. Identifier is the starting point. Okay. Okay, sir. Can What's I start up? Ah, oh, yes, sir. What's meant by identifier, sir? Can you please explain? Anything? Identifier is nothing but a name, just a name, name given to okay, variables, sir. name okay, given sir. to function, right? Okay, Integer. sir. Here I created a variable. Okay, sir. Integer number. Here number is the identifier. Why? Because number is a variable name. Here I used wide main. Main is the identifier. Main is the function name. So these are nothing but identifiers. Here I create a constant, pi. Pi is the name, so it is the identifier. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Variable is also known as identifier, sir. Name, name of variable. Variable is identifier. Yes. Right. Yes. Variable name, variable name, constant name, function name, whatever the name you used in C program, that is known as identifier. Okay. Okay, sir. Your name is identifier. My name is also identifier. Your town, your country, your state, all are identifiers. Okay, sir. Right. Now, after this, I am going to explain input and output functions. Input and output functions means how to read the data and how to print the data in program. The program should be interactive, no? We have to write, we have to build interactive programs. Interactive. What is the meaning of interactive? Computer should talk to you. You should talk to program. Okay. Program should talk to you. You should talk to program. That is known as interactive. Now, how to interact the computer? Computer can talk to you. Computer is having any mouth to talk to you. No. How it can talk to you? Tell me. By printing a message on screen, it can talk to you. Whenever you want to talk to me, you have to ask a question. Sir, what is the identifier? What is keyword? Please tell me. In that way, you, you have a mouth. You can ask using that. But computer doesn't have mouth. It can ask any question by printing a message on screen. Printing a message is nothing but output. Suppose computer asked to type your name. How your name can tell to program? By typing using keyboard. Am I right? You have to type your name using keyboard. Whatever the data you type using keyboard, that is nothing but input. Whatever the data you printed on screen, that is nothing but output. Now, how to read the data? How to print the data? So, I am going to explain you. Now, to read and print, there are some input and output functions. Those are simply called as I-O functions or I by O. I-O functions means input and output functions. I will explain this using a table.
Now, what is the data type you are going to read or you are going to print? How to read the data? How to print the data? Reading is nothing but which operation? Input operation. Printing is nothing but output operation. Right. Here I want to read a character. I want to read a character. To read a character, we can use three functions. You can use get care function or you can use get ch e function or you can use get ch function also. Any one of these three functions you can use to read a character. What is the use of this one? Reading. What you can read? Character. To read a character, you can use any one of these functions. Is it okay? Right. Now, to print a character, you can use put care function. It is a function available in C to print a character. Print a character. Is it clear? Is this function clear? Right. Now, suppose you want to read a single character, means A, B, C, D. You can use these functions. But I want to read your name. Your name is having single character or group of characters? Group of characters. Group of characters is nothing but string. Am I right? Yes. So to read a string, we have to use gets function. Gets means get string. To print a string on screen, you can use puts function. Puts means put a string. Is it okay? To read a string, you have to use gets function. To print a string, you have to use puts function. Now, these uh, six functions, three, four, five, six, these six functions are specific functions, specialist functions. Now, I am going to explain two functions. Those are generic. Generic means it can read any type of data. These three functions can read only character. This function can read only string. But now I am going to explain the generic functions means it can read any type of data. It can print any type of data. Any type of data means it can read character or it can read integer or it can read float or it can read double or it can read string or it can read long integer. Whatever the data it may be, it can be readed by scanf function. Scanf is a general function. It is used to read any type of data. Print up function. It is a generic function. It can print any type of data. Now, is this table clear to you? Yes. Right. Now, first of all, I will explain how to use this get, get care function. Right. Now, what is the first function? Get care. I will explain one, one, one after another. Get care function. Uh, read this name. What is the name? Get care means it is used to get a character. It stands for what is the meaning of get care? Get a character. It is nothing but get care. Right. It is used to read a character variable. It is used to read a character variable. We can read only one character by using get care function. If you want to read multiple characters, you cannot use get care function. It has the ability to read only one character. It has a ability to read only one character. Right. Now, is it input function or output function? Get input function. So, it is an input function. It is an input function. Input function connected to input device or output device? It connects to input device. Input device. It connects to input device. Right. Now, get care function read a character, but it wait for enter key. What is the meaning of enter key? Suppose I want a bucket water. A bucket water. Now, 
I put a bucket. I open the tap. Now water is coming. After filling the bucket, I have to tap. I have to stop the tap, or it will be automatically stopped. We have to stop. We have to stop it. Am I right? Yes. We have to stop that. In the same manner, it won't stop after typing a character. Its capacity is to read a single character. After typing a single character, also it won't stop. It try to read the data from you. That is the disadvantage of this one. Means it wait for enter key. It wait for enter key. Whenever you press enter key, then it won't data. It won't take data from you. I will explain a program here. Then you can understand what is uh, functionality of get cap. To write a program, to run the program, I am using code block software. Code blocks. File. Recent files I am using. Oh. What I have to do? I have to read a single character. After reading the data, you have to store in memory or not? Yes, you have to store in memory. In memory, where you can store the data? In variables. What is a variable? Variable is a container. Am I right? It is just like as water bottle. It is just like as lunch box. It is like just like as college bag. It is a container. It can store data. Now, I have to store the character variable. So, data type character you have to mention. Character followed by variable name. Variable name is ch. Whenever you write character ch, then what happens? In memory, I will explain. Whenever you write character ch, feel it's a memory. What is this? It is memory. Inside the memory, you can create the variables. Right. What you write here? Character ch. What is the size of character? Tell me. The size of character is only one byte. Now, computer will create a variable with the size one byte. And what is the name you mentioned here? CH. Named this variable with CH. CH is the variable name. Whenever you write this line inside the memory, a variable will be created like this. In this variable, you can store a character, single character. Right. Oh. Now, you created a variable. After that, you have to read the data. To type the data, computer should ask you. Computer, how computer will ask you? By using printf function. Printf. Asking means enter. Enter means type. What you require? A character. Type a character. Whenever you say printf, this output, this data will be printed on screen. Execute this program. Check it. See this. Enter a character. It printed on screen. Printf function always print this data on screen like this. Right. Uh, but after reading this question, what you can understand? You can understand. Oh, I have to type a character. Now, whatever the character you typed, that can be read. By using which function can I read? Are you using get care function? Yeah, right? I am going to use get care function. Get care. It will read the data. After reading the data, you have to store in this variable. What is the name of this variable? CH. So, whatever the data you typed, that will be stored in CH. Get care function, read the data from you and store in CH. Right. See here, I will execute this program. Computer is asking to enter a character. I am typing H. Actually, get care function has the ability to read one character. I already typed one character. It is waiting. It is waiting for enter key. I didn't type enter. I typed Y. Still, it is waiting. Still, it is waiting. If I press enter key, then it won't wait. So, it always wait for enter key. It has a capacity to read only one character. 
after typing a character even though it is waiting so it wait for enter key the meaning of that one is that is this clear what is the meaning of wait for enter key right what you type here hyderabad but get car function has the capacity to store single character it will store only the first character of input what is the first character here in hyderabad what is the first character h it will store only h now it will store only the first character of input whatever the data you typed that is input the first character you typed that only will be saved remaining will be lost remaining data will not be saved right now after reading the data how to get conclusion is it read it successfully or not how to identify that for that we have to print the data here to print a character which function i can use see here to print a character i can use put char function so here i am going to use put char function put char of ch means first it get the data from ch it what is the data it stores here that will be get and the print or screen now we execute this program i am going to enter a character i its functionality is it wait for enter key n d i a if you type enter key it won't read i already told you it stores only first character what is the first character here i it stores only i in this way it will read the data so it is the what is india india is nothing but the data typed by you it is input what is i i is nothing but output output printed on screen i is nothing but output printed on screen so what is the program for this this is the program for this right is it clear how to use get car function is it clear it is used to read a single character it wait for enter key now note on this
After completion, please tell me. Right. Now I completed what is get care function. Now I am going to explain what is get CHE function. What is the next function name? Get CHE. Right. Oh, see here. The meaning of get CHE is Get a character with a co. What is the meaning of that one? It stands for get a character. Here E is there, no? Get means get. CH means character. E means echo. With echo. Echo is nothing but a display. It displays the input typed by you at the time of reading. At the time of reading, it uh, display the input. What is the use of get CHE? It is used to read a character. It is used to read a character. It is used to read a character. No. It does not wait for enter key. What is the disadvantage of previous function? Tell me. In previous example, it has the capacity to read a single character, even though it is waiting until I type India. But it stores only first character. Remaining data will be wasted. Now, what is the need of waiting for enter key? It is waste now. So the next function, that disadvantage was overcome here. So it, it wait for enter key or it does not wait for enter key? It does not wait for enter key. It does not wait for the enter key. Right. It is an input function. It is an input function. It always connected to input device. It always connected to input device. Right. Now, see this. Here I am going to change the function name. Instead of get care, I am using get CHE. Get CHE can read a character or not? Yes, it can read a character. Now execute this program. Enter a character. I am typing I. See here. I am unable to type India. Why? Because it doesn't wait for enter key. Whenever I press I, then it executes this line. After that, it moves to this line also. Now, whatever the data you typed I, that was read it and that was printed here. The data entered by you that will be read by get CHE. The data entered by you that will be printed on screen by using put care function. So it is used to read, it is used to print. So it read the data, it print the data. So this is the use of get CHE. If you don't want to wait for enter key, then you have to use get CHE. If you want to wait for enter key, then you can use get care function. Here, how many eyes are here? Two eyes are here. What is the meaning of first eye? It is input. What is the meaning of second eye? It is output. It is output. Now, it prints the data with echo, means display. Whatever the data you typed, that can be displayed. So, it is nothing but with display. It can read only one character. So, it is used to read a single character. It doesn't wait for enter key. It does not wait for enter key. It is an input function. It connected to input device means keyboard. Right? Now, what is the program here? This is the program here. In this way, you can use get CHE function. Is it okay to you? Is this okay to you? How we know when to use uh, this get care and get uh, CHE? How? How we know? 
in what purpose we we'll use like to read a character single character suppose i want to read a gender what is the gender m for male f for female m or f is it a single character or multiple characters single character single character to read a single character you can use get ch function or you can use get char function or you can use get ch function also you can use mm -hmm. okay if you want to use enter key you should use get this get ch key yes 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 if you want to use enter ah yes. uh, after typing the data you want to type enter key then you have to use get char Mm -hmm. After typing the input, you don't want to press enter key. Then you have to use get ch function. Okay. Okay. Good. After completion of writing, please tell me. Completed. After completion of data, after completion of writing, please tell me. Right, Lakshmi Prasanna completed. Now, can I go to next function? Next function name is get ch. Get ch. What is the difference between get ch e and get ch? Tell me. Only one difference. What is that? Echo. Good. Here e is here. Here e is not there. Am I right? So it is nothing but with echo. It is nothing but without echo. Without echo means without display. Am I right? It read the data but won't display on screen. Suppose whenever you withdraw the money from ATM, then you have to type a pin number. That pin number will be read. But it won't display to others. Am I right? Why? Because pin number is a secret data. It is a confidential data. So to read confidential data, you have to use get ch function. It read a character, but it won't display on screen. That is the speciality of this function. Now get ch. It is used to read a character. 
With echo or without echo? Without echo. Without echo means? Without display. Good, without display. It is used to read confidential data. Confidential data. It is also doesn't wait for enter key. It doesn't wait for enter key. It does not wait for enter key. It does not wait for enter key. So it is an input function. It is an input function. Input function always connected to input device or output device? Input device. It always connected to input device. What is the input device in our computer? Keyboard. Keyboard is the input device. Now, example program. See here. Here I have to use get ch or get ch. Which function I have to read? Get ch. Get ch. Now, execute this program. Computer is asking to enter a character. I am typing T. Program executed successfully or any error? Any problem here? Or executed successfully, identify that. I typed a T. Now, you got output or not? Yes. You got output? Sir, we have to enter any type of keyboard, sir. Uh, any keyboard. You I, I type type or I, I type D. Now, D will be printed. Whatever the data you type, that will be printed. No problem at all. Right? You can type any type of character. Now, I am typing E. Now, I got the output or not? I am, my question is that. I got no, the output? Sir. No? No, sir. See here. Actually, I got the output. But, but it is a confidential. Yes. It won't display the input. But it how can we identify that, sir? Means read it successfully or not. Am I right? Okay, sir. Read it successfully okay. or not can be identified by using this put care function. Whenever you print the data, whatever the data you type, that, would, that should be printed on screen. Then your program is successful. See, it won't display the input. Am I right? Yes, sir. I type a small e, it reads the data but won't display. Yes, sir. My doubt is, e was read it successfully or not? I am getting doubt. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How to get the conclusion? I have to print that on screen. Whenever I print that, whatever the data I type, that should be printed on screen, no? But it can't print it, sir. It is a confidential, right? Uh, no, no, no. Actually, it is confidential. I want to test it. After okay. testing, I will remove that line. I After okay. testing, after testing successfully, I will remove this line. Then it won't print. Now, computer is asking to enter a character. I am typing E. It won't print anything. Why? Because it reads successfully, but it won't print anything. Why? Because it is confidential. Okay, sir. But here I am the user, I am the end user, I am the developer also. So that's why I am testing, just for testing. I am okay. I asked to print the letter. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Now in our application, is it output or input? Tell me. It is oh. a in, in it's output, sir. Good. It is output. In it is not input. Why? Because input cannot be displayed. It reads the data confidentially. Is it okay? Okay, okay. So it is output, it is not input. Input will not be displayed, only output will be displayed. Why? Because you try to print the character. If you remove this line, whatever you type, that will be read it successfully, but won't display on screen. Is it okay? okay for tested for testing purpose, I ask to print. That's it. Right. Now note of this function, get ch.
after executing this program so many students gets doubt sir my program is not running whatever the data i typed that was printing it is not printing output no it is wrong whatever the computer is printing that is output whatever you typed that will not be printed on screen it is just read and it won't print sir please tell me about get ch again get ch is a function it can read a single character but it won't display the data you typed means it read the data confidentially is it okay it is used to read a character without to display it can read the data but it won't display why because it is used to read the confidential data confidential data means secret data so it does not wait for enter key whenever you press a key then automatically this statement will be executed then control move to this line then program will be stopped now it does not wait for enter key actually get ch is a input function or output function it is input function input function always connected to input device is it clear yes sir right my dear friends i am here to explain your doubts one thing you have to do is regularly you have to come to the class regularity is important okay sometimes it may not be possible some special occasions but every day you have to attend to the class then only you will get good knowledge without learning c language perfectly you cannot learn python you cannot learn java you cannot learn other programming languages perfectly so c is a basic programming language it depends it uh, uh, is a very very important to learn other programming languages comfortably after completion of writing please tell me sir i have one doubt sir in get ch ask me sir output means uh, in the bla black screen only we get sir yes yes in whenever yes, you run sir. this program see whenever okay. you run this program the screen will be changed to block screen yes sir here input and output both you can type here yes sir whatever you are typing is input what you are getting is output that's it both input and output can be see here is we are uh, inputting uh, like uh, e sir yes but uh, we can't uh, get output uh, in this program sir no 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 we are we are getting output but we are not displaying the input why because okay, get ch sir. is a confidential no that's why you can't uh, get output uh, in this uh, way ah that's you are getting the output you are you are not displaying oh, the input but that's why only one e you are getting okay sir actually your doubt is uh, we have to get two is no one is yes, i typed sir. second one is computer uh, printed input and output also uh, two is you, you required but uh, only you are what you are getting only one what about the two inputting uh, value uh, only displaying the, but not output display yes sir. yes 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 good okay sir right Thank now you, sir. is it clear yes sir yes sir clear sir right now next function name is gets function gets right ah uh, sorry put care function i have to forgot no put care function put care i already used put care function here i am not going to give explanation i give explanation i won't give any example uh, what is put care function tell me it is used to by seeing this table guess what is the use of put care function to print output print so the character good print a character not output print a single character so it is used to print a 
single character. A means single. Don't use A and single. A character. It's enough. Is it input function or output function? Output function. Output, output function always connected to input device or output device? Output. Good. Uh, what is the output device name? Monitor. Screen. Good. Screen or output or monitor? Output device. Put care function always connected to output device. It is used to print a single character. Right? It is the output function. It always connected to output device. Its purpose is to transport the output to output device. It is transport. Transport means move the output to output device. It is the use of put care function, right? I already used put care function three times till now. Right on this. Actually, we'll give input in the program itself, right? But in get care, get ch, get ch, we are entering input after execution. To give the end, to give the input, computer should ask no. Enter a character, it should ask. Enter a character, enter your name, enter your roll number. What is the, what is your salary? It should ask. To ask, the program should be run. At the time of running only, you can enter the input. Then only you will get the output. Okay. See here. This is the program design. Am I right? Okay. After designing this program, if you want to run, then you have to use build and run. Mm -hmm. Now it is running. At the time of running, you can give input. Okay. Means program execution. Program executing. Now it is asking to type a character. I am typing H. Now this is nothing but input and output. This is nothing but output. Right. You can give input and you can see the output after run the program. Okay. First, you have to write the program. After that, you have to run the program. While running the program, you can enter input. After entering the input, then you will get output. Is it okay? Okay, sir. If you have any doubt, I will explain once again. If you satisfy with my answer, then okay. Otherwise, I will explain once again. Actually, in addition of programs like that, A equal to 5, B equal to 10, we'll expect only the output answer only after run. After run. No, 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 no. Actually, in your example, you are, uh, by default, you are telling A is 10, B is 5. You are not reading the data from user. Am I right? Yes. You are, this program can add only 10 and 5. This program cannot add other, other numbers. If you want to add any two numbers, then you have to read by using scanf function. Okay. I will explain it later. Yeah, In okay. output, both will be generated at runtime only. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, is it completed? Uh, my dear friends, uh, actually uh, tomorrow uh, I have to attend to a function. Tomorrow is public holiday also. Now, can we take leave tomorrow? Yes, okay, sir. sir. No problem. Okay, right. Day after tomorrow, can we meet again? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Right? Okay, thank sir. You. Thank you. Now, So, first topic only, can you uh, display one time, sir? Uh, identify us, yes, sir. In this scroll. See this. This is the identifiers. You want okay, to write note this? Yes, sir. That's why note, I note. No doubt. Okay, sir.
ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಕಂಪೈನರ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀನ್ right here scroll down there are so many compilers available here we have to press c we have to select c language why because now you are going to practice c program here we have to write the program you have to write the program right now i will explain this program just now we write a program no what is that program this is the program copy this and paste here right computer is asking to enter a character then you have to type a character that will be printed on screen but it is online compiler no in online compiler you have to provide the input you have to provide the input here itself whatever the data you want to type that character should be typed here i am typing a this get care function will read the data from this and execute it see enter a character it is asking to enter a character i already typed here that will be read and that will be printed on screen is it okay in this way you can execute here you have to type the program here you have to type the inputs then you have to press execute that's it now i will explain you a small example i want to read two numbers integer a comma b i want to find some also result now first of all print f enter two numbers how to read two numbers scan a function i have to use percentage d percentage d means you are going to read two decimal numbers yam percent a yam percent b after that find the result r equal to a plus b after that print the result sum equal to percentage d comma r r is the result now we have to type two numbers here first number is 10 second number is 5 these two numbers read by this scanf function first number will be stored in a second number will be stored in b now a is 10 b is 5 10 plus 5 equal to 15 that will be printed on screen execute this execute this program here you can see the output sum equal to 15 is it okay is this okay to you in this way you can run the program in j doodle software is it okay or not yeah okay sir right no do this one see still now we are in fundamentals wait for few days to practice the programs right yes. otherwise you will get lot of doubts it may confuse you how many days will take sir to start programs oh more one week uh, no, no not more, more one week it is sick course is uh, only just 45 days okay. okay we can write programs uh, from uh, up to 2 3 days means okay. from next monday i will start the program okay, friday as usual one hour only one hour class only no sir daily one hour ma saturday also i will take the class okay. but tomorrow i have to attend to a function that's why i am taking all day that's it. okay right i won't take all days uh, more all days uh, within the 45 days uh, i will take one one all day that's it okay okay sir. don't bother about that i don't know what is there okay right durga software people are saying that uh, uh, better to leave on saturday but i won't leave on saturday also i want to take saturday also the class right 
If you don't want, then I, I can leave. Sunday is leave, sir. Sunday is holiday. Yes, yes, it is holiday. You have take Saturday, sir. Ah, I will take it. I will take it. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir, for coming. I completed, okay. sir. Okay. Can I leave from the class? Yes, sir. Okay. okay sir. Thank you, ma'am.